In today's video, I'm gonna show you the speed ramp, a very easy technique that will improve the quality of your videos and make your cuts seem a lot more fluid. So let's get right into it. So I already have a timeline and a b-roll. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna speed ramp this aerial shot of this lighthouse. So it's a moving camera at a constant speed. And the first thing we have to do is, with our clip selected, we're gonna right click and then go to read time controls or simply push command R or control R on Windows. And then we're gonna see these little blue arrows here. Now what we have to do is choose a point in our video where we want the speed ramp to start. I'm gonna choose it right here at 3 seconds. Alright, now I have to go to this little black arrow here and click on it. We're gonna click on add speed point and now we can see a marker here on the timeline. And this is where our speed ramp will start. Now we'll choose a point where we want our speed ramp to finish and I'm gonna put it right here. So let's again add another speed point and now we click here again and then go to change speed let's say to 800% and as you can see it squeezed the upper clip. So this squeezed part here is where the speed ramp happens. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's all right, but it's not perfect yet. So I think I'm gonna start my ramp a little bit earlier on the clip. So I'm gonna put my playhead at two seconds. Now I'm gonna drag this bottom part of the marker here to the left. And by doing that, we can change the point where our speed ramp will happen without having to change the speed itself. And if we move the upper part of the marker, we'll change the speed without changing the place where the ramp happens. So let's see how it goes now. much better. But there's still one thing we can do to make it even better. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna right click our clip and then we're gonna go to read time curve. And then we're gonna activate these little dots here. So this is our speed ramp. As you can see it's very square. It happens all of a sudden and what we want to do is, we want to make this an actual ramp. So we're gonna click on this little dot here and we can see this icon here is activated. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna activate this one and as you can see a curve appears. We're gonna do the same to the other dot. Now we're gonna pull this little bezier to the center and we're gonna do the same with the other one. And with this, the speed ramp happens a lot more fluidly. Let's see how it goes. Perfect. And that's how you speed ramp and DaVinci Resolve. So if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if this video is too advanced for you and you wanna learn the basics of DaVinci Resolve, make sure to check out this video showing on your screen right now and I'll see you there.